Hello people, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2009 exam. It's a four marks question. That means obviously we have two parts, each for two marks. So it's from the topic of secondary memory, that is the structure of hard disk. So this one is going to be an easy one. Let's read out the statement, then we'll solve it. A hard disk has 63 sectors per track, 10 platters, each with two recording surfaces and 1000 cylinders. The address of a sector is given as a triple CHS, where C is the cylinder number, H is the surface number, and S is the sector number. Thus, the zeroth sector is addressed as 000. The address 416, 29 corresponds to the sector number. So you can see the four options. Now, they are asking you, to find the sector number corresponding to this address, it is 4016.29. Also this address is using the format CHS, that means 400 is the cylinder number, 16 is the surface number, 29 is the sector number. Okay, so let's see what all information they have given you in the statement. There are 10 platters, each with two recording surfaces. This means you are placing 10 platters one above the another with each having two recording surfaces. That means the surface, the upper surface and the lower surface. Similarly for each and every platter. That means you have a total of 20 recording surfaces, 10 into 2. Then they are saying there are 63 sectors per track. So if you just remove a platter and see it like this, okay, or like this, the top view of the platter will be uh, something like this. You will be having concentric circles. These circles are called tracks. Okay. And within these tracks, you have sectors. For example, I have shown three sectors here. Okay. They are saying we have a total of 63 sectors per track. That means each and every track will have 63 sectors. Okay. Also, you have 1000 cylinders. What is the meaning of a cylinder? This is your hard disk. Say hard disk is placed here. On the top letter, you select nth track. Okay, any, any value of n is fine. For example, you select the fourth track. So, zeroth, first, second, third, fourth track. This is say the fourth track. You select the fourth track for each from each and every letter. Okay. So equidistant track from the surface are selected from every platter. This one will make up a cylinder. For example, say this is the fourth uh, track of this platter. Similarly, fourth track from the lower platter, fourth track from the lower platter, and so on for uh, all of the ten surface, uh, all of the ten platters. Okay, this one will make up a cylinder. That means physically nothing like a cylinder exists in hard disk. It's just a logical grouping of tracks belonging to different platters. So we have 1000 such cylinders. This also means each and every platter has 1000 different different tracks. Okay, zeroth track and 1000th track. Each of them will belong to a different cylinder. The outermost cylinder, innermost cylinder, innermost and so on. Okay. Now let's see what sector number will this address correspond to. It is 416.29. First of all, one cylinder will contain how many sectors? Let's see it. one cylinder okay let's find out how many sectors will be there in each cylinder one cylinder will contain 63 into 20 sectors how can i say that there are a total of 20 recording surfaces we have already seen that 10 platters into two surfaces for each platter so 20 surfaces each surface will have one track only that corresponds to a cylinder. Okay. That means 
वन सिलेंडर विल हैव सिक्सटी थ्री सेक्टर्स ऑन ईच सरफेस सिक्सटी थ्री ऑन द टॉप प्लेटर एंड इट्स टॉप मोस्ट सर्फेस सिमिलरली सिक्सटी थ्री ऑन इट्स लोअर सर्फेस सो ऑन फॉर ईच सर्फेस वी हैव सिक्सटी थ्री सेक्टर्स दैट मीन्स सिक्सटी थ्री सेक्टर्स पर सर्फेस इन टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सर्फेसेस सो दीज मैनी सेक्टर्स विल कंबाइंडली मेकअप वन सिलेंडर दिस इज सेक्टर्स नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड दे आर सेंग द सर्फेस नंबर इज सिक्सटीन लेट्स सी हाउ मैनी सेक्टर्स विल बी देयर ऑन वन सर्फेस वन सर्फेस will obviously have only 63 sectors actually if you see one surface has a lot of sectors like 63 in this track 63 in this track 63s rather we have 63 sectors on each track but that doesn't mean you will multiply 63 by number of tracks okay don't do that what we are trying to find out is given some cylinder number okay if you have fixed this cylinder number say this is the fourth cylinder given in some cylinder number how many sectors will one surface have so just see saying this is equivalent to saying how many sectors does a surface have on one track okay that is 63 that means 16 no cylinders sorry 16 surfaces means 16 into 63 sectors let's write that one surface has a total of 63 sectors corresponding to a cylinder let's write that also okay now this question is easy this address 41629 means you have crossed 400 cylinders also after that in 401st cylinder you have crossed the 16 surfaces and also on the 17th surface you are currently at 29th sector now saying that 400 cylinders have been crossed this means 400 into 63 into 20 these many sectors will be crossed because one cylinder has these many sectors so 400 cylinders will be these into 63 into 20 sectors okay now after crossing these many sectors in the next after crossing these many cylinders in the next cylinder you have crossed 16 more surfaces also now how many sectors will 16 surfaces make one surface has 63 sectors 16 surfaces will have 16 into 63 sectors okay we are just converting everything into sectors and this anyways is the number of sectors only so you can add it as it is okay just solve this and you will get your answer let me see what will be the result of this calculation 400 into 63 into 20 plus 16 into 63 plus 29 this is 505037 okay maybe it might not be visible this is 505037 so answer to the first part of this question is the sector number corresponding to the given address will be 505037th sector now let's try the b part of this question they are saying what will be the address corresponding to sector number 1039th that means we are just trying to do the reverse what we did in a part here we converted address into sector number but now we are trying to convert sector number into a address okay now you very well know one cylinder has these many sectors 
सो सिक्सटी थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी विल बी सिक्सटी थ्री इंटू ट्वेंटी इज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी दैट मीन्स ईच सिलेंडर हैज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी सेक्टर्स नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वन थाउजेंड एंड थर्टी नाइन सेक्टर ओनली विच इज ऑब्वियसली लेस देन ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी दैट मीन्स इफ यू आर एट दिस सेक्टर नंबर यू हैवेंट येट फिल्ड द फर्स्ट सिलेंडर ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट इज लेस देन वन टू सिक्स जीरो ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी ओके दैट मीन्स द एड्रेस कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस सेक्टर विल सर्टनली हैव सिलेंडर नंबर जीरो ओके और यू कैन ऑल्सो ट्राई डिवाइडिंग दिस नंबर बाय ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी बट दैट विल गिव यू जीरो पॉइंट समथिंग दैट मीन्स वी आर ऑन सिलेंडर नंबर जीरो वी हैवेंट येट फिल्ड एनी सिलेंडर saying cylinder number 0 means we haven't filled any cylinder yet saying cylinder number 1 means we have filled one cylinder which one will be which one will this be it is the zeroth cylinder don't get confused if the cylinder number says 7 this means you have filled seven complete cylinders from 0 to 6 okay and saying cylinder number 0 means you haven't filled any cylinder okay after this let's find out 1039 sectors how many surfaces will they make one surface has 63 sectors if from these many sectors i try making group of 63 63 sectors how many groups do we get so for that we need to divide 1039 by 6. 63 this will be 16.49 that means 1039 divided by 63 is 16.49 okay 16 surfaces have been completely filled so 16 surfaces have been completely filled and what will be the remainder of this division let's find that out Sixteen into sixty-three. This is one thousand and eight, and we are talking about one zero three nine. So you have you you will get thirty-one as the remainder, which means sixteen into sixty-three plus thirty-one will give you one zero three nine. Okay. what is the meaning of this line if you try forming groups of 63 63 each 16 groups will be complete and still you will have 31 items in the next group so we are not able to place 63 items in the next group okay that means in the next group of 63 which is a surface you have filled only 31 sectors okay so this is your answer for b part let me just recap it zero means you haven't filled any sector sorry any cylinder no cylinder is completely filled but on the first or the zeroth cylinder only you have filled 16 complete surfaces and in zeroth cylinder 16th surface sorry 17th surface you have filled 31 sectors okay